Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Now, recently, we released a video teaching you how to calculate the mean average. And lots of you commented saying, please show us how to calculate the other averages you might be asked to do in a test. So, we're going to go over them today. But before I tell you the four different averages we'll be calculating today, I just want to test out Hayden's editing skills. We're going to calculate the mean, the median, the mode, and the range. Did he do a good job? Okay, so it's time to take a look at how to calculate these four different mathematical terms. But before we do any calculating, we need a data set. So I'm about to play a quick game of online darts. So on the screen now is the game. Now I need your help, Hayden, okay? So behind that camera, you've got to write down these scores as they come through, is that okay? Yep. Awesome, so we're going to get 10 pieces of data. I'm gonna aim, I'm gonna see how we can get on. So the first one, I'm gonna try and get a 14, let's see. Number one, 14, excellent. Take a note, Hayden. The next one, let's go for a 10. 10, nice. 14 and 10, so that's two. The third one, let's go for a triple 20. See if we can get it. Yes, yeah, 60. Write 60 down, Hayden, so that's three numbers. Let's go for a 19. 19, got it. I'm not missing any, Hayden. You can just take what I say I'm gonna get. Let's go for another 14. Got it, 14. How many numbers are we on now, Hayden? Five numbers, so halfway there. Let's keep going. Another one, I'm gonna go for another triple 20. Do you think we can do it? 60, 60, amazing. Okay, so back to my favorite 14. Got it on there, 14, three numbers left. Should I go for the bullseye, Hayden? Do it. Okay, let's have a look, let's see. Ready? Oh, 25, just on the outside. Okay, two numbers left. Hayden, give me a number to aim for. Five. Five, okay, easy peasy, not missing this one. Five, got it. And the last one, I'm gonna go for a really, really tricky shot. I'm gonna go for triple 17. So whilst I'm doing this, try and figure out what is triple 17. So let's see if I can get it first. Yes, triple 17, 51. That's the final number. We have 10 pieces of data. Let's get to work. So after that masterclass of online darts, we've got 10 pieces of data in our data set and we're ready to do some maths. The first average we're going to take a look at is one we've actually recently done a whole video on, the mean. So if you're stuck on this, I recommend going back and watching that one quickly. So recap, to find the mean, the first step is to find the total of the entire data set, so add up all of those numbers. And the second step is to count how many numbers there were, in this case 10, and then divide by that amount. So for our data set, we'll be dividing by 10. Now after some quick off-camera mental maths, we know that the total of this data set is 272. Now, remember, when you're calculating the mean, it's okay to go into decimals. So when we're dividing by 10, luckily we can just use our place value chart in our minds, shift the digits down one place, and we can calculate the mean as 27.2. For those of you taking notes and who want a quick summary, look at the screen now because it says, for the mean, step one, find the total. Step two, divide by the number of data points. Simple. Now let's take a look at median. How do you calculate the median of a set of data? Well, let's take a look. The first thing, step one, is to put your data in numerical order. Now that can be in ascending order or descending order, whichever you prefer. I'm going to put this data set into ascending order. So the lowest number in this data set is the five. So I'm going to write down five and then cross it out. The next one, looking around at 10, good cross out the 10, and you'll notice now we've got a few 14s. Don't let that put you off. Put down each one in order. So we're going to put 14 down, cross one out. We've still got two left, so we put another 14 down, cross that one out, and you guessed it, the third one, cross it out. Keep going, next would be 19. Then we're looking at 25. Then we're looking at 51. And finally, we've got those two 60s. And that is our data in numerical order. Now, quite simply, the median is just the middle number in this set of data once it's in numerical order. The only slight problem we might have is when we have an even number of data points, just like this one, but I'll show you that when we get there. One way to find the middle accurately every time is to just take one number off each side. 
and then slowly work your way in. I'm gonna show you what I mean right now. So if I cross out the five and the 60, they're gone. I'm gonna make my way into the middle. Cross out the 10 and the 60, cross out a 14 and a 51, cross out a 14 and a 25, and now we're left with two. Now in some data sets, you'll just be left with one number. That's your median, the middle, sorted. But if this happens and you have two numbers left, you have to go back to the mean. We have to find the average of these two. So we're going to take 14 and 19, we're going to find the total, which is going to give us 33, and then we're going to halve it. And we will get a decimal here, we will get a half. Half of 32 is going to be 16, and that leaves us with one left over, which we can half, which will give us 0.5. If we combine these together, we get 16.5. So that is as tricky really as median will get if you have to find the average between two. But just remember, median means middle. Just before we move on, I just wanna make it really clear that median means middle. So I'm gonna take these two values, 14 and 19. I'm gonna actually put them into a number line. So you can see here, if I zoomed in on a number line with 14 and 19, it would look like this. We'd have 15, we'd have 16, we'd have 17, we'd have 18 and 19. Now, what we can do is find the difference between them. So the difference here between 14 and 19, you can count on the number line, is five. So there are five jumps between them. Now, if we half five, we're dead in the middle. Half of five is two and a half. So let's jump forward from 14, two jumps and a half. And just to prove it's the middle, I'm gonna to go to 19 and jump backwards two jumps and a half, we're in the same place. And that place is 16 and a half. The same answer, median is middle. So quick recap, median, put the data in numerical order. And then if you're lucky, you're gonna have one piece of data right in the middle. But if there are two, find what's in the middle of those. Now onto number three, the mode. And this one, in my opinion, is the simplest. It's super easy. To find the mode of a data set, all you have to do is look at the number that comes up the most. Now in our one here, there are only two numbers that come up more than once either going to be 60, which I can see here comes up twice, or 14, which I can see actually comes up three times. Super simple, 14 comes up the most, 14 is the mode. Now, I'm not sure we need a recap for that one, it was so easy, but just in case you're taking notes at home, the mode is quite simply the value that appears the most. And the final one that we're going to go through today to make you an expert in calculating these is going to be the range. How do we calculate the range? Let's find out. So first step when calculating the range is to find the highest value. In this case, it would be 60. Even though it comes up more than once, doesn't matter, 60 is still the highest value. And the lowest value. So looking at our data set here, the lowest value is definitely five. That's the first step. Now the second step is really simple. Find the difference between them. And that is your range from the lowest to the highest. So 60, take away five, Nice and simple, the range of this data set is 55. So again, for those of you taking notes, making sure you get this right in your test, a quick recap for range. Step one, find the highest and the lowest value in your data set. Step two, find the difference between them. As ever, we have got a question for you to solve, but you may notice it's not on the screen yet, and that's for a very special reason. I have taken it upon myself to pre-record you a dramatic reading of a little poem that's going to help you remember these. Hayden, play the video. <clears throat> hey diddle diddle, the median's the middle. You add and divide for the mean. The mode is the one you see most often, and the range is the difference between. Now, I know, I know, my acting was superb, but don't worry about that too much, we've got some maths to do. On the screen is your data set, okay? It's at the top there. Make sure you're just counting how many numbers there are, it might come in handy later on. And you've got a really simple job. You need to calculate and find the mean, the median, the mode, and the range. And if you think you've got all four, and I mean all four, not two of them, not three of them, if you have all four, 
I'd love you to leave us a comment down below so we can see if you've got them right. Hopefully you found that video useful. Now, the only reason this video exists is because you guys asked for it in the comments. So if you ever have anything you want us to go through, let us know down below and we'll see what we can do to help you. See you next time.